A checkerboard pattern is a nice, cute and extremely easy pattern to create. But we're going to create it in a way that means it's going to be easily edited if we want to. I'll click on New File and create a document 600 pixels by 600 pixels. It's important that you create something that is an even number in dimensions. So 600 by 600. We can divide it evenly by 2. I have the rectangle tool selected. I have it set to shape up here on the toolbar. I'll click once in the document and I'm going to type 300 for the width and the height. That's one half of the width and height of the document. So it's going to be very easy for me to pick up this square and put it in the top corner of the document. We're going to fit four of these squares into our document. But so that we can edit it easily later on, we're going to select this rectangle layer. I'm going to right click and choose Convert to Smart Object. And then I'm going to hold the Alt or Option key as I drag a duplicate away into the bottom corner of the document. These two objects are joined together so they're going to be able to be changed in color at the same time. I want a rectangle that is this exact same size, but this time I want it to be able to be colored independently. So I'm going to right click this and I'm going to choose New Smart Object via Copy. That's really important. I'm going to double click on this smart object and I'm going to change its colors. So I'm going to one of these shape tools, either the rectangle tool or the path selection tool because that gets me access to the fill color up here. I'm going to choose a different color to use. In this case, I'm going to borrow a lighter blue from a different set of swatches. Now that I've finished making my edits, I'll click the close button and say yes to saving the document. You can see here that this box has changed, but the one underneath it has not, and that's exactly what should happen. So I'm going to locate this rectangle here, and I'm going to move it to the top corner of the document. Now in this instance, I want this one and this one to be linked, so I'm just going to duplicate it. And I'm going to move this one down here. So I have a checkerboard of different colors. I've got one smart object set here and a second smart object set here. That's going to make recoloring these very easy in the future. Edit Define Pattern, Checkerboard 1. And let's go and change these colors to see how easily it can be done. We'll just double click on the one we want to change. We'll go back and select one of these shape tools, go to the fill color and choose one of the colors we're working with. I'm going to make this a purple. Again, I'll close the smart object and say yes to saving it. This is now a checkerboard design. Edit, define pattern, checkerboard 2. To test these, we just need a new file that is larger than our pattern size. I'm choosing 3600 by 3600. Layer, new fill layer, and then pattern, click OK. And from the very bottom of the list, we can select our first checkerboard. I'm going to try the second one, layer, new fill layer, and then pattern, click OK, and go and select the second of our checkerboards. It's always wise to test your patterns before you forget about them so that you make sure that if there are any problems with them, you have fixed those problems. There are some cute and extremely easy to create checkerboard patterns. If you like carefully researched content like this clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results, then you'll love my Skillshare content. I'm a Skillshare top teacher. I have hundreds of short courses on Skillshare that you can access along with thousands of other great courses, all for the price of a single subscription. If you're interested, there's a Skillshare coupon for you in the description below to use to sign up. Using this coupon benefits me as a creator and it helps me continue to make free content available here for you also on YouTube. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. On the screen now, you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you. If you enjoyed the video you've just watched, I know that you're going to really enjoy the one I've picked for you to watch next.